What's good, YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to begin starting the recording thing in Mixcraft. I did this video before, but I looked back at it and I didn't think I did. Uh, I explained it as thoroughly as I could. Alright, so let's just jump into it. <clears throat> First thing is mic setup. So I don't know what type of mic you got, but you either got one or two things, either a USB or an XLR. So if you have an XLR, then that means you're going to need an uh, audio interface to hook up to the XLR. So to find that, <clears throat> and when you plug your audio interface in with the USB, it will be in this drop down right here. But I don't have one right. I don't have one plugged in right now. I'm using my USB microphone. So you can go to recording. Wait, no, not not recording. No, microphone. Yeah, here we go. This is my Logitech uh, microphone that I'm using right now. But if you had an audio interface, then you would click that. Or else it's going to uh, record this this microphone thing. That's going to record from your, either your laptop mic. I don't know if desktops has mics. But yeah. <clears throat> so you got to click your mic down in this drop down. And then if you have an audio interface, most likely you're going to be using the the audio output from it so you want the the music to come from the audio interface so you can hear it here while you are rapping you're gonna drop this down and click your audio interface but mine's just not right there so I have headphones going straight into my laptop so that's where I'm gonna keep it for now and we press OK <clears throat> and that's how you set the mic up you might in the record you come down here, you click your mic right here. Now you can see as I talk, the levels move. I'm recording, I'm recording, I'm recording. So, but if I click this one, it's gonna record from my uh, laptop mic, which isn't gonna sound good at all. Recording, I'm recording, recording, I'm recording, I'm recording, I'm recording. Let's mute that. Recording, 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 recording. Oh, it's still on my... Alright, now this is the laptop mic. Yeah. Alright, here I go. Recording, recording, recording. Wow. Recording, recording, recording. Terrible. Alright, so yeah. Mics matter. Alright, next setting tempo all right we got a beat off of youtube illegally downloaded it um boom 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 let's get one uh, let's choose this one boom now I, I didn't made so many videos on setting the tempo but i don't know what was wrong with bandy cam at the time because all the videos that i show setting tempo it always cuts off the screen so <clears throat> oh, let me bring that back. You have to click this. This is this is the bass drop. You know it because it's like, come on. This this is the melody, and this uh this is where the uh, waveform gets fat and thick, just like a uh, bass would make a waveform do. So you're gonna want to line this up with the uh, number nine. Line this bass drop up with the number nine. All right. All right. 145. It should be on beat. Okay, you might notice it has a slight delay on it. That's because there's always some dead space in the beginning. This, we gotta cut this. So, uh, squiggly line in the, oh, sorry about that. Squiggly line in the top right, I mean, top left of the keyboard. The, you know, that squiggly line right there. And bring it in right there. It should be on beat now. And that's how you set the tempo. So now things like delays, um, reverb, I think, and just f flangers effects can uh, they go off a of tempo. So you can just if you had the dead duck plug and pack that I uh, mentioned in one of my other videos you can just come here press sync and now it's sync to the tempo you don't have to keep fiddling around with the time trying to do all the millisecond stuff 
That's dumb. All right. Track arming. So we want to get rid of all these instrument tracks. We want to record. Oh, by the way, how I did that was Control G. Control G. All right. Arm the track. That means you're ready for recording. Are we still on the laptop one? All right. We're ready for recording. So you arm it, put the drop down, and click the uh, click your microphone. Now, uh, be careful not to arm two tracks. Can I arm two tracks? Oh, I don't have my interface, so it's not going to let me arm two tracks. I don't think so. Let me check. Let me see. No. See, my interface has two inputs, so it would let me arm two tracks. So if you have an interface, you can do a duet or something. Or have a guitar and then play your, um, and then sing your vocals on it. So. All right, next after that is recording modes. Now, that's this stuff right here. There's three ones. The only one I use is overdub for uh, recording. Let me show you what they do. Check, 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 check. I think we are on, we're on takes. Now, the weird thing about this one is as soon as I start recording again, it's going to mute this clip. I don't know what this will be useful for. But um, I like to when I record. I like to hear what I've done before, so I can it could be easy. It can be easy for me to jump back in. So. Check, 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 check. See that I don't I don't like how it does that. So you're gonna wanna click overdub. Oops, overdub. Check, 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 check. Bet, 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 bet. And now we can hear both of them. And I don't know what replaces. I don't think I ever used that. I guess it's like I can record over this one and it will replace it. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, it replaced it. So, uh, self explanatory. All right, now last thing is lanes, and I really hate lanes. They look so ugly, but um, I guess if your track is getting really cluttered, it uh, uh, it'll help for like beat making. Let me throw this phone over here. All right. So if you try to record while there's a, a audio clip in the way, it's gonna split into a lane. Oh. I'm still on replace. Let's go to overdub. There we go. Split into a lane. Check, 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 hey, check. Hey, 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 hey. I mean, I guess this would be cool for grouping. This is just one of my pet peeves. I don't. It just it doesn't look good to me. If you stretch it out, it would look probably look cool. Then you can just put main vocals. And just keep recording in lanes. Like, I'm gonna record another one. Split into another lane. Check, 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 check. Then you can name this whole thing name, main vocals. But I do different effects for uh, my vocals. So if, if you do this, then if you put effects on this track, then all of these vocals are getting that same effect. So that's why I don't like lanes. So to get rid of lanes, you have to delete the audio clip that you don't want in there. Sometimes there might be like a little hair of audio clips like right here, so you gotta highlight and delete sometimes. And then just press Alt K, boom, done. Or you can go up to edit, or hold on, where is it at? Track, lanes, Alt K. Uh, I don't have any lanes right now, so that's why it's grayed out. But delete empty lanes, and that's that's it for the beginners. Hope you guys learned something. I had to. It took me a minute to do this. Uh, I've been working on my other channel and just all these other videos. So leave a comment if you like. Like if you like. Um, comment anything else I should go over. I'm also doing the mixing and mastering service, so hit me up for that in my email. Don't put it in the comments because YouTube does not show me my comments for some reason. Like, my notifications are messed up. That's why I'd be missing most of you guys' comments. Once again, I'm Dices and I'm out.